friends, welcome back to my channel. So let's get started with this fall look, why don't we? So to get started, we're gonna go in with my favorite moisturizer, Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer. By the way, just a disclaimer, I apologize for the chewing. Gum actually really helps me concentrate. Can y'all feel me, can y'all feel me? So anyways, we're gonna go in with my eyebrows. I'm just gonna be brushing them out with a spoolie really quickly. And today I'm gonna be going in with my chocolate pomade by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This stuff is amazing. Um, so what I like to do is just take a little bit of the product and kind of swipe it on the lid and just make my brush as tiny as possible. And this is just gonna give me um, more control over my strokes. So I'm just gonna be filling in my brows and then we'll move on from there. my brows I like to use what I call my mascara for my brows and this is Gimme Brow by Benefit in the color medium deep so I'm just going to brush this through my brows to make sure they stay in place all day. Now I'm going to go in with my concealer, it doesn't matter what kind of concealer you use, whatever you like girl, and just carve out underneath my brows. I don't like carving out on top but that's totally up to you. After that I'm just going to blend it downwards with my fingertips. prime my lids, I'm going to be going in with my favorite eyeshadow base, which is my Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. This is amazing. It provides a nice clean canvas. It is a yellow undertone. If you are more of a pinky undertone, be sure to try out Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. These paint pots are amazing. If you are going to use them, they are really creamy in consistency, so make sure that you're setting them with a shadow to prevent creasing. So we're going to go in with this nice Love & Beauty matte palette that I just picked up this week, and it is gorgeous. I'm going to be using this nice cream color and setting that paint pot on my lids just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't crease. So to get started with my transition color, I'm going to be going in with this nice chocolate matte shade and I'm going to be applying this right into my crease with my Morphe M330 brush. And I'm just going to be deepening and darkening my crease just as a transition color. You do not have to be in any way perfect with this, just get that color nice and in there. So for my base color, I'm gonna be going in with Hard Candy's Metallic Shadow Stick. This is in the color Ecstasy, it's a beautiful gold shade, and I'm just gonna be applying this on my lid and then blending it out with my fingertip. Now going in with my Urban Decay Vice LTD palette, I'm gonna be taking Heat, which is a nice burnt orange shade. I'm gonna be wetting my brush with a little bit of Max Fix Plus and patting this all over my lids for some nice intense orange color. So now I'm going to be taking this gorgeous Morphe shadow in the color Marbleized and applying this right into my crease with my M433 Morphe brush. Now taking this white shade from the Love & Beauty palette, I'm going to be applying this under my brow as a highlight. To line my eyes, I'm going to be using Elizabeth Mott's You're So Fine Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Black is Black, and I'm just going to be making a pretty fierce cat eye. Now I'm going to be going in with my L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes Mascara, hitting my lashes with these really quickly before going in with my falsies. So today I'm going to be using my Allure Exaggerate number 145 lashes. Now I'm going to 
be going in with my Glamouflage Concealer by Hard Candy and applying this underneath my eyes in a triangle shape using my Morphe M224 brush. This is just going to get nice into those crevices and then we'll be blending all of that out with a beauty blender. It's actually really effective to prevent creasing. I'm going to be going in with my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I am in the color NC42. I'm just going to be applying this all over my face with a damp beauty blender. Under my eyes, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip, and this is the brown shade. I'm going to be applying this right under my lower lash line and then blending it out. Now I'm going to be taking the heat shape from my Urban Decay Vice LTD palette and applying that under my lower lash line as well. Now going in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, I'm going to be applying this as my highlight and my inner tear ducts. foundation, I'm going to go in with Milani's Face Powder and 05 Tan. To warm up my face a bit, I'm going to go in with Max Bronzing Powder and the color Refined Golden and just apply this to the areas of my face that the sun would naturally hit. Now I'm going to be grabbing Havana from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and applying this as my contour with my Sonia Kashuk Contouring Brush. Now to go with this brown theme I have going, I'm going to go in with this Love and Beauty blush kit and take these two shades and mix them and apply this onto the apples of my cheeks up towards my temples. Going back in with my Mary Luminizer by The Balm, I'm going to be highlighting the tops of my cheeks, above my brows, and my cupid's bow. Now 
now I'm going to be grabbing this nice cool tone shade from the ABH Contour Kit and applying this as my contour. I'm going to be using this lip liner by NYX called Pink Nude. For my lips, I decided to go in with my Too Faced Melted Lipstick in the shade Melted Nude. So to revive my second day wavy hair, I'm going in with Marc Anthony's Dream Waves Beach Spray just to add a little bit of texture. Amazons, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. So I decided to do an intro into fall because if you guys don't already know, fall is by far my fave season in the entire year. So I decided to um, go ahead and do like an intro to fall, very bronze, very brown, a little bit of burnt orange that kind of gives you that fall look. What am I doing? What is this? So this is the look that I created for fall. Um, something a little bit more dramatic on the smoky side. Of course, you can do something a little bit less dramatic, but with the same type of colors. Um, I used some of my favorite palettes today, a lot of which were Love & Beauty. That is the new cosmetic line from Forever 21. That blush palette, tell me that you didn't love it, girl. You loved it. Oh my God, I fell in love with it. I saw it and I was like, for real, Forever 21? Okay, okay, I see you. Blushes are so incredibly pigmented, and it's such a wide variety of colors. So if you guys happen to see that at your local Forever 21, be sure to pick it up because I absolutely love it. No, this is not endorsed. I actually love this product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do this a lot all the freaking time. Let me know of any other looks you'd like me to recreate for you or show you guys how to do down in my comment section below. Also follow me on my social media. I am on Snapchat every day. So if you guys want to keep up with me on that, I will leave that here as well. I love Snapchat. It's my new bestie. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, week, weekend. Whenever you guys are watching this, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so your girl can be in your timeline. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace.